welcome to Bottoms Down Chair Yoga for Everyone. I'm Carol and I'm so glad you've joined us today. We're coming to you from our YouTube channel. If you haven't already clicked on that subscribe button, if you would do so, we would really appreciate it. It's free and lets you know when new videos are posted. It also helps us out. All right, we are going to start seated today. We will come to standing and return to seated. So just remember, if at any time you want to stay seated the whole time, that's fine. We will be using our yoga block for just a little bit of it. If you have one handy, that's great. You can substitute a book or you can just leave it out. It's fine too. In addition to our forward folding, we're also going to be adding camel pose. So we'll be doing some back bending as well. So don't worry, I'll take us through it all. We'll be super supportive. But just remember, if at any time it doesn't feel good for you, then just leave it out. Really important. All right, let's get started. We're going to go ahead and ground our feet. So make sure you've got those four pressure points firmly connected to the earth. We call that grounding to the earth. Next, we're going to think about our sits bones. So we sit on those pointy bones. They hold our weight in our seat. And I want you to think about having both of them equally weighted on the chair. Next, I want you to lengthen up, lengthen that spine. Think about just pulling that head up towards the ceiling, keeping those shoulders down. Pull that belly button to the spine. Place your hands lightly on your thighs, palms facing up. Add that mudra if you like, your choice. Take a deep breath in, and on your exhale, go ahead and close your eyes. Focus your attention on your heart center, letting go of everything outside of the room. Begin to notice your breath, just feeling your natural inhalation and exhalation. And then just deepen that breath, inhaling more deeply and exhaling more completely. Moving into that diaphragmatic breath, we're going to inhale, engage our diaphragm as the belly extends. Exhale, pull the belly button to the spine and push the air up and out of the lungs. Do that two more times. And breathe normally. We're going to continue with that diaphragmatic breath. We're going to inhale to four counts and exhale to five, something like this. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five. And breathe normally. Bring your hands to your heart. Set your intention for today's practice. Focus in on what you want to accomplish. One more breath. Bring your hands back down to your thighs and open your eyes. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Drop your chin towards your chest. Drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. And chin towards your chest. Go ahead and look up towards the front of the room. Look over that right shoulder. Look center. Look over your left shoulder. 
and look center and go ahead and roll those shoulders up back and down up back and down and reverse it should feel really really good place your hands on your thighs pull your belly button to your spine let your head fall tuck the chin into your cat pose Lifting up, grab the back of the chair, lift your heart into your cow pose. We're going to do that again. Round it down into cat. And lift it up into cow. Nice. And roll. Maybe roll them one at a time. And reverse it. All right, let's come into Mountain Pose. Palms are together, interlace fingers, pointer finger to the ceiling, shoulders are down. Let's lean our mountain. Keeping that opposite hip down, think about pressing this hip down as you lean. We're going to come up and we're going to do the other side. Pressing down, pressing down, pressing down. We're going to come up and we're going to make a big circle around, bring our hands to our heart. We're going to go all the way up to Mountain Pose, interlace fingers. Point your finger to the ceiling. Let's lean to the left first this time. We're going to come up and we're going to lean to the right. And we're going to make a big circle around and we're going to come all the way up to mountain pose. Interlace fingers, point your finger up. Lean to the left. Now I want you to twist and look up at the ceiling. Take that twist out. Back to mountain pose. Lean your mountain the other way. Twist, look up at the ceiling. Take your twist out, come up, make that big circle around, and bring your hands to your heart. All right, how's everybody feeling? Maybe you roll those shoulders again. Everybody feeling okay? All right, so we're going to do our, our series, our forward fold series. We're going to move through it a little more quickly than we have been, because I think if you've done any of my classes, then you know this one. If you haven't done my classes before and this is your first one, don't worry. I'm going to lead you through the whole thing, all right? Even though we're going to go a little more quickly, don't worry about it. You're going to be fine, all right? So let's say everybody, if you have a block, you're going to place the block between your feet or that book. Either is fine. You want it on its end. If you do not have a block, don't worry. I'll tell you how, what to do using your own body. It will be just fine. So our first forward fold, we're going to place our hands on our thighs. Palms are facing, I said hands and I meant arms. Place your arms on your thighs, palms facing up, okay? Let your heart fall. Keep the back flat. Feel the stretch in the spine, all right? Tuck your chin and roll it up. And check in and see how you feel, all right? So we're going to do that again. We're going to place our hands here. We've got plenty of support in our arms, right? As we let our heart fall forward into a version of forward fold. And we're going to tuck our chin and we're going to roll it up again. All right. So you can stay right there and that's a great version. Otherwise, if you're with me, what we're going to do is we're going to come here, just like we did a moment ago, and then we're going to place one hand on the block and another hand on the block and we're going to let our heart fall a little bit further. We're going to tuck our chin, let that head fall, and now we're going to roll it up nice and slow. Okay, so we're checking in, check, seeing how you feel in the back and also if it's making you dizzy. So if it's making you dizzy to put your head below your heart, you're going to keep this back flat, all right? You're still going to get the nice stretch into the back, it's fine. You just don't get the full version, the full inversion, okay? Now, as we move down, I'm going to take my block and I'm going to move it on its edge. If you don't have a block, all you're going to do is you're going to take your hands down your legs and you still got the support here, okay? So don't worry about it. You just keep coming down with your hands on your legs for support. Let's everybody come to version one first. Let that heart fall. Now, if you're with me, I'm going to take one hand on the block or my shin. Other hand on the block, let the heart fall forward, tuck the chin, and let the head fall. So here we are hanging out, right? We're hanging out, we're breathing, and we're going to roll it up nice and slow. 
and checking in. All right, see how that feels. If it's making you dizzy, you know the option. If you're with me, I'm going to take my block flat on the floor now. Now you're going to be holding your shins or your ankles. Ready? If you don't have a block. Here we go. One hand comes down. The other hand comes down. Let that head fall. Tuck the chin. Breathing into it. One more breath. And we're going to roll it up nice and slow. Okay. We have one more version. And we're going to move the block totally out of the way. <clears throat> so your version, you know you've got to do what works for you. For me, here I am. I'm going to start in my fully supported. I'm going to let my heart fall forward first. And now I'm going to take a hand to the floor. I'm going to take the other hand to the floor. I'm going to let my head fall forward. And I'm going to roll up slowly. Ah, how does that feel? Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is called rag dolls. So I'm going to take my feet a little wider. I'm going to come a little closer to the edge of my chair, and I'm going to take my feet a little bit wider. So the only difference with our rag doll is it's going to be a little deeper because I've got my legs wider, so my heart can fall between my legs. Okay, so it's got a nice spot for our belly and everything to fall between our legs. Then I'm going to grab my elbows and I'm going to do a rock side to side and then I'll add a nod to my head and a shake to my head and a nod to my head. All right. Then I'll let my hands fall and we're going to roll up slowly. So that is ragdoll. If you want to watch me, we're going to do it like I'll say we're going to do it three times. So if you want to watch the first one, that's fine. Here we go. But I'm going to cue through the whole thing. Let's take that forward fold. Place your hands on the floor first. All right. Make sure you let your head fall so you don't want to hold that head up. In fact, let's go ahead and nod our head. Nod your head yes. See if you can let that head fall. All right. Beautiful. Now, I've got my feet on the floor. I'm going to press through my heels as I lift my arms and grab my elbows. All right, and let's rock side to side into a rocking rag doll. Go ahead and nod your head yes. Shake your head no. Nod your head yes. Let your hands fall to the floor. Tuck your chin. Press through the heels. Roll it up. Nice. And... Slow. Oh, boy, how does that feel? Whew, right? That gets a little bit, so that's an inversion. And so what happens is we get a little bit of extra pressure right on that spine. We're pulling it down just a little bit. So it feels, it should feel pretty good. All right, we're going to move into camel pose. So if you've noticed, we've done a lot of forward folding. Well, now we're going to do a little bit of back bending. Don't freak out. I know people think back bends. Ah, I can't do a back bend. And maybe you won't, don't want to do a back bend. But if you're with me, you stay facing me. I'm going to show you a seated camel. And I do believe everybody can be successful in this pose. I really do believe you can do it. So we're going to take one hand. It can either be your fist or it can be your palm. And you're going to place it right on the one side of the spine, kind of where the, the top of the pelvis. You feel that? There's a bone right there, and then it connects into that fleshy part of the back. So that's where you want that hand to be, and then the other hand is right there. And you've got on each side of the spine, so you do not want a hand on your spine, okay? So you've got one on each side of the spine, either palms or fists. Either is just fine, whatever works better for you. Again, you're facing me. I'm facing to the side so you can see me a little bit better. So all we're going to do is we're going to push forward. We're going to push forward with our palms. And we're going to let those hips come forward. And that's all it is. It's just we're pushing the hips forward. But do you see what's happening? There's a little bit of a back bend happening, isn't there? Can you see that? 
Just a little one. Don't worry about it. One more breath, and we're going to release that, and we're going to come into a um, child's pose in our chair. So it's very similar to our forward fold. The only difference, really, is you're not holding your back. You're not giving yourself support for that back. I want you to, and you can round. So just round that back. Put those hands between your thighs or on your thighs and just let yourself round into it. Into your seated chair, uh, your seated child's pose. All right, let's come up and we're going to do that again. So place your hands here for your seated camel pose. Now, as I push my hips forward, see if you can look up just a little bit. Do you see what's happening there? No wrinkles in the neck. We don't ever want wrinkles in the neck, so we don't want you to let the neck go. So you're not looking up at the ceiling. You're looking out, kind of up and out. Push forward. One more breath. Come into your seated child's pose. One more breath. All right, let's do that one final time. So just seeing if you can add on a little bit, right? We're just seeing if we can add a little bit more into that back bend. One more breath and come forward and hang out in your seated child's pose. Okay. All right, so we're going to come to standing. And remember, if standing doesn't feel good to you, stay seated because we're going to do the same poses from standing. So you can just stay seated and keep doing. You know what to do, all right? But if you're with me, we're going to stand up. I'm moving my chair to the side, but you're going to be on the right side of your chair, okay? I'm getting a sip of water. If you would like to join me, that is a good idea. Okay. So in our standing, I'm going to turn to the side again. You're going to stay facing me. But in our standing camel, it's very similar to what we just did, okay? So I'm going to take one hand in on my spine here on the uh, one side of my spine and the other hand's on the other side of my spine. You see that? Or you can have those fists. All right. So my feet are a good solid hip distance apart to give yourself a good stable position here for the feet. Belly is tight, extend the spine long, and then we're going to inhale here, and on an exhale, we're going to push those hips forward as we kind of look where the ceiling and the wall meet, and we breathe. And we breathe. We're going to take one more breath. Pull your belly button to your spine. Woo, how does that feel? All right, go ahead now and face your chair, all right? And you're going to put one hand down in the seat of the chair and the other hand in the seat of the chair, and we're going to do a cat and a cow. So we're going to start with cow. Let your belly fall. Lift your hips and lift your heart up. Now, pull your belly button to your spine Round your shoulders, tuck your chin, tuck the hips into your cat. Let's do that again. Move into cow. Inhale. Exhale into cat. Now at your own pace, just do a few more cat and cows. If you want to add the breath, you inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. Just do one more. Wherever you are, finish up. All right. Beautiful. Come to a neutral spine, belly button to spine, and roll it up. Okay, we're going to do that again. Ready? If you want to stay facing the chair, that's fine. Place your hands back behind on, on, on your uh, either side of the spine. We're going to push forward, looking up. See how that feels. One more breath, 
and come forward into your cat and cow. Go ahead and kind of at your own pace. Just do a few cats and cows. Remember, cow is your inhale and cat is your exhale if you wish to do it that way. The other thing to remember is in cat, let your head fall. Tuck that chin down and let that head fall. We tend to want to hold the head up and you'll get a nicer stretch if you release it. All right, come to that neutral spine. Pull the belly button to the spine. Go ahead and roll up and we're going to do camel one more time. All right, so maybe right where you are is where you want to stay. But if you have any availability and you think, maybe I want to do a little deeper camel, all you're going to do is you're going to take your hands and move them down your body just a little bit, right? So maybe you've still got the support here. You're still pushing your hips forward, but maybe your hands are on your buttocks. I wouldn't go much lower than the buttocks for right now since we're kind of just easing ourselves into this pose. Put your belly button to your spine. We're going to round it one more time into your cat and cow. And checking in, how does that feel, right? Checking in, checking in, checking in. Go ahead and roll up. Okay, we're going to come to seated and we're going to do a little deeper camel in our chair. I'm going to turn my chair to the side. You stay facing me, but I want you to see what I'm doing in my, in my chair. So, we're going to, it's a little, it's not too dissimilar from how we do our uh, seated cow pose. But you'll see, you'll see the difference here. So I'm going to shoot my hips forward, all right, just like we did a minute ago, right? We had our hands back here and we shot our hips forward. You remember that? We're pushing forward, creating that back bend. We're going to do the same thing with our hips. We're just not going to have our hands here for support. We're going to have our hands on our chair, all right? So I want it about halfway down to start with. Shoot those hips forward. Squeeze your shoulder blades behind your back looking up towards the ceiling, checking in and see how that feels. All right, let's go ahead and round down. Just do a cat. Let's not do child's pose. Let's just do a cat. I think we can get out of it a little bit. Um, just get, you get that same rounding of the spine, okay? All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hands and we'll move them down my chair a little bit more. And I'm going to press my hips forward. So now I'm getting a little deeper into that uh, back bend. You feel it? All right, but you've still got your hands on the chair for support. Let's come around and do our cat again. You got it? All right. We're going to bring our hands down a little bit further and see how that feels. Oh, yeah, you feel that back bend? One more breath. And we're coming forward into our cat pose. All right. So checking in, how is it feeling for everybody? Go ahead and grab some water. So the back is one of those things that if we warm it up really good, really well, excuse me, warm it up very, very good, very well, then if we build into it slowly, we tend to be able to get a little more mobility in that back, right? Just a little more flexibility. And what does that do for us? It helps our posture. So next time you're thinking about as you're standing, and I don't know about you, but I'll, I'll, you know, I'll be standing somewhere and all of a sudden I feel like I'm kind of doing this, right? If you think camel, if you think lift up and kind of get those hips a little bit forward, really makes a difference. It connects into that lengthening of the spine, pressing those hips forward just a little bit like we did in camel pose. All right, very good. Everybody did a great, great, great job. All right, so let's take our right knee and open it nice and wide. We're going to move into that half Lord of the Fishes and bring that arm across, lift and twist. 
We're going to release that and we're going to do that again. Come across the body, lift the head, twist, look over the back of your chair, and release it. Face forward. This leg is going to extend out in front of us, toes to the ceiling. Lift and let that heart fall forward. This time we're going to keep the back flat. So now we're not stretching the back, we're stretching the hamstring. Pyramid pose. All right, come up and we're going to do that again. Extend and hinge. Good job. Let's come into our pigeon pose. Ankle to ankle or ankle to knee. Extend the spine long. Let the heart fall forward and breathe. Let's come up and rock our baby. And we're going to do that again. Extend the spine long. Let the heart fall forward. Feeling the stretch into this hip and glute area. I know we didn't work the legs at all today. That's okay though. We focused on a different area of the body, didn't we? <clears throat> all right, go ahead and rock your baby. And final version. Extend and hinge. So I'm just hinging th at the hips, letting that heart fall forward, trying to keep my spine long, my back flat. And come up. Let's do the other side. This leg is going to open nice and wide. Opposite arm comes across, grabs the chair, lift and twist. And release that and let's do that again. Come across your body, lift the spine long, turn and look over the back of your chair. And release it. Face forward. We're going to extend this leg out in front of us, toes to the ceiling. Lengthen the spine, let that heart fall forward into our pyramid pose for a nice stretch into that right hamstring. Lift up. And let's do that again. Extend and hinge. All right, pigeon pose. Ankle to ankle or ankle to knee. Extend and hinge forward, keeping the back flat. Oh, yeah. Right in here. Don't you feel it? I do. And lift up. Rock your baby. <clears throat> and if you need a little bit more as we extend, we're going to hinge forward and then we're just going to press gently on that knee. Just if you need it. I don't need it, honestly. I feel this one just fine. <laughs> All right, let's rock that baby. I don't know about you, but I really hold a lot of tension in my hips, so this one is always a nice release. Extend and hinge forward one more time. And release. All right, let's go ahead and lean back. You can close your eyes or soften. If you don't like closing your eyes, just soften your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And a full breath out. Put care into action. Giving your care, your attention, your respect, your love makes life richer. Giving your time, your consideration, your effort, your presence makes the world brighter. The things you accumulate are sometimes necessary, oftentimes not. The connections you make are what will, you will come to cherish most deeply. You have the opportunity to go beyond merely saying or signaling that you care. Put your care into action, into commitment, where the passing of time transforms it into great value. You are not going to save the whole world, yet you can make a big difference in an important part of it, someone's life, again and again. Resist the urge to be drawn into trendy, sanctimonious, empty expressions. Invest your time and energy instead in authentic connection and care. 
You can quietly, gracefully make a difference when you put your care into helpful action. Each time you do, life gets a little better for you and all those around you. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Extend the left arm long. Flip the palm to the ceiling. And release it. Drop your chin towards your chair. Chest. And release it. Drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Extend the right arm long. Flip the palm to the ceiling. And release it. Bring your hands to your heart. Honoring one another, we say Namaste. Thank you so much for joining today. Again, if you haven't clicked on that subscribe button, we would really appreciate it. And I will see you next time.